What's up friends? Thanks for coming back to my channel and welcome to your world of gains. My name is Greg Gowdy and today we're going to be watching a sweet coaching video from Klistala, a grandmaster Overwatch player, coaching me on some Ana and Zen play. I'm really excited to be putting this video out for you guys because having this coaching session really opened up my eyes to a lot of the mistakes I was making, big and small. And I believe it'll be beneficial to you as you watch this and think about your own gameplay. And I bet that we're probably making the same similar mistakes and you can learn a lot from me and be able to help you start climbing more in your ranked games. I definitely want to give a shout out to my follower, Flank, for giving me this free coaching session from Klistala. Also, Klistala, thank you again for an awesome coaching session. Definitely go check out Klistala on Twitch and his YouTube channel. Both of those links will be down in the description below, so definitely check them out after this video. This coaching session was over two hours long, and because it was so long, I wanna break this video down into three parts. So this will be part one of the coaching session, which will be our defensive phase on Havana, and then the second part will be our attack phase, and then the third part of this video will be my Zen play on Horizon Lunar. But definitely don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when those new videos come out. If you enjoy this content, definitely hit that like button. It really does mean a lot to me. Come follow me on Twitch. Come hang out with me. I stream every Monday and Thursday at 4 p.m. I do want to thank my most recent subscribers on the YouTube channel and my most recent followers on Twitch. It really does mean a lot. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you guys all when, I, when I'm streaming. So just a disclaimer, before we get started, uh, this was the first coaching session I ever had, and this is the first time I ever used Discord for a video. So I didn't really know what I was doing, so there's parts at the very beginning for the first uh, probably like 20 minutes or so where it'll go from full screen to a minimized screen, but I wanna do that so you could see all of Klistala's markings where he's kind of pointing out positions where I should have been or positionings where the team was and how I should have been reacting to where the team was. So please just forgive me for that. That won't happen again. Um, but I did try to cover that up by putting the gameplay over the minimized screen to make it look a little bit better. And then I also tried to add in my audio from the game since we weren't able to hear it from the Discord recording. So if the sound is off just a little bit, again, just please forgive me. I was just trying to make this the best quality I could so that you guys would enjoy watching it. Well, without further ado, let's get into the coaching video and let's uh, learn together. Where are you at? How long are you playing Overwatch? Um, what are your goals and stuff? So I've been playing for about a year and a half. Um, my goal right now is to get the best that I can at, at some point, hopefully reach to masters. I'd feel pretty, you know, accomplished if I could reach that goal. Um, but really, mm -hmm. I, but really, I just, I just enjoy playing the game. And so I'm just trying to get as the best as I can. Mm -hmm. And you're a main support, right? Or are you just flexing every game? Um, yeah, I usually just try to play on and Zen. Those are my two main people that I play right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in your opinion, what are those mistakes you're making that you know? Um, I feel like I make a lot of mistakes, honestly. Uh, I'm trying to focus on positioning um, mm -hmm. and then my ability usage, especially with Ana. Uh, so those, I know I make a decent amount of mistakes, mistakes there. Um. Yeah, I mean, I I just know there's a lot that I need to learn. Honestly, I'm not like I try to study like YouTube tutorials or watch pros play, but mm -hmm. I totally forget everything that I watch when I actually get in the game. Yeah, the thing is, when you watch uh, like tutorials on YouTube and stuff, you have a bunch of of tips and and things you can get better, right? But the 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 very useful thing is like um set one goal for every game or or even one day like let's gonna say saturday you're going only for the good position right you don't uh, focus on your cooldowns you don't focus on your uh, i don't know calls whatever just make one thing every day not uh, all things as at the same same time because it's too much and you 
scuffed. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, I will start. I will focus on on um, mechanical skills and positioning, calls, and something like this. Um, whenever you want to talk to me, just say stop so I can pause the gameplay, and then we can talk about it. Okay, sounds good. <clears throat> Uh, how about the uh, how about the aim like DPI and sense? Are you comfortable with that? Did you find your right uh, DPI? Um, I, I uh, I think I have. I mean, I again, I just watch tutorial and just try to implement it. Um, mm -hmm. And so I, I like I feel pretty comfortable. I uh, like I this is. I mean, when I started Overwatch a year and a half ago, that's when I got into PC gaming. It was like a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. and so like this whole process of aiming with my with the mouse instead of controller has taken some time mm -hmm. um but i'm but i'm trying to do like free for all or death matches to try to like work on my mechanics okay because there's a bunch of um other mechanical stuff like um reload melee nade melee and stuff Th those are the things i don't want to talk about because they take too much time and those are things you can practice by yourself by doing them uh, daily, 15 minutes or something like this. So I'm going to give you our YouTube link later with a tutorial for that if you don't find one. But I really don't want to focus on that. Um, what is um, very important, or how can I say that? Sorry, my English is very scuffed, dude. No, I'm usually good. not speaking <laughs> English at all, right? <laughs> um, the thing we're gonna focus today are especially team comps and um, reacting to your retarded teammates positioning themselves behind walls and stuff um, positioning um, and uh, cooldown usage okay so those are the main things awesome thank you I think those are actually the important one for for uh, climbing and diamond and masters because you need to actually carry every fucking game to climb right because if you play normal like Let's let's say okay, we're playing a good comp. We're playing uh, Zare Reinhardt. We're standing behind the shield and just uh, yeah, you are the Anna and you're healing your your teammates. Okay, cool, you're healing them. They are alive, but you're not doing anything against the the, the enemy team, right? You need to pressure them. You need to use your cooldowns to minimize the the the, the um, damage output they can do because they need to focus on you, not on the other things they should be uh, focusing on. Anyway, I'm gonna start. I didn't watch this before, sorry, I didn't have time. But no, yeah. yeah, you're good. I think we can. Uh, the main problem is right now you can't hear the sound right with me. Um, we could actually move on to watch together, but then I can't draw anything so right <laughs> that's very 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 bad no, there's actually yeah, no we, other we option right now that's <clears throat> yeah, all good there's one website you can actually upload votes yeah and i can watch over and write comments but we're doing it live and life is much 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 better in my opinion okay so you're playing this new trash map havana with reinhardt okay reinhardt season 16 is kind of bad um the damage output being there right now is uh way too much for Ryan. like orisa is much better because you have ev uh, every eight seconds or nine seconds a new shield right and as Ryan, you need to recharge and if they if you're playing reinhardt without lucio you fucked anyway because you can't swing you can get all charge by side of uh fire strike i, I don't like Maintain solo, maintain Reinhardt. Okay. So you position yourself very, very far away from the team. You have a good angle. Um, the enemy has a long way to to actually contest you, so that's a good position. Also, you can see the enemy snipers if they appear. Am I on this? Wilson's got no jump, man. Hey, Briggs pushing as well. Okay, so the team forced you to drop down because they were line of sight. Uh, the thing you, you need to make sure is that your team knows that you're 
actually playing there on top, way behind the the choke, right? Uh huh. Okay. So yeah, like you you need to tell this before the game even starts, so they can actually react to that. Because they should actually. Um, wait a second. Which one? Okay, this one. The payload is right here, right? Uh -huh. So it's okay if we if we hold here. When the shield is down, we should actually go back to here, so you can heal your teammates, even from the same position, and they can hide behind those things, right? Because they they are doing false, they are actually pushing in there, and there's no way you're gonna heal them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we lost two, we lost the mercy, we lost Ash. Maybe we can keep alive our main thing. But anyway, no matter what you do, they have more pressure. <clears throat> so we're backing up, okay. He's purple, he's purple. Okay, we might need to kill him. Oh, what was that? So I thought there was a Sombra behind hacking. And that's why I threw the uh -huh. the sleep dart behind. Sleep. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't know where she yeah. was. I just heard heard her behind. I think she was he's purple. He's purple. From on the or or this side. Yeah, either up yeah, there or yeah. Um. Anyway, you should use your sleep for the nano boosted monkey. Okay. Um. Okay. In best case, nobody w would shoot him after the sleep, but. Normally he's waking up immediately. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but those are your primary targets with your with your uh, sleep. I mean, you can actually so uh, see it here. Okay, he got nano. He's gonna jump. We are cool, cool down. Two seconds. That's fine. You're backing up a little bit. That's good. He's Using the nade on him. Okay, and there's a okay, sleep, okay, okay. Anyway, we're keeping alive our Mercy. Oh, oh, she, she should heal you as well. She's not doing that, unlucky. I can hear you, yeah, but my game sounds gone. He probably can't kill you both when you're pocketing each other. Like, um, your second healer is the second priori priority. Even, no, that's false. If the combat is not going on, you're healing your main tank, right? Uh -huh. And then the DPS that are uh, getting low and stuff. But if the combat if combat is going on and they're diving you, you need to prior prioritize your second healer. Like fuck your main tank, fuck your off tank, fuck your DPS. Like the DPS is, they should play by you. Like they need to peel for you so you can heal them, right? They need to learn this, and a good DPS player knows that. If they're going too far, they're not gonna be healed, and that's why the the people are in diamond and masters and not in GM. Because um, you need to peel for the healers, and healers need to peel for you. Like if there's a flanker on your heal, you need to help them, and then you you can uh, kill him. So the team fight is going five v six, and you usually win a five v six every time. So that's the game about, <laughs> but people don't know this. <laughs> like. Um, you're playing uh, Mercy Anna right now, so she probably can heal, uh, peel for you really easy because she, she can fly to you, right? But if you're playing with a Zen, you need to position yourself so far so, uh, so the Zen can arp you and you can heal the Zen if he if he is in trouble. So that's the main aspect of positioning yourself. Because if you're out of cooldowns, you can't help uh, by yourself. Like, there's a Tracer, okay, you're using Nate, she's recall. Uh, she's coming back to you, you use your sleep, you miss the sleep, you're dead. Because you can actually kill a Tracer if she's very good. Uh, same for Genji. Okay, yeah. You use Nate for deflect, if he's uh, no deflect, you can uh, sleep him and so on, right? So if you know that you're not gonna win the 1v1 with the flanker you need to position yourself near to your second heal or even a dps or a, i don't know a brigade the best way is to say close to bridget 
Okay. Okay. <clears throat> if you have any questions or you don't understand what I'm t trying to explain you, uh, just tell me, okay? Yeah, for sure. I'm trying my best, but yeah, as I said, my English is very scuffed and I don't practice English oh. daily. <laughs> no, I mean, it sounds good to me, so I understand everything. Yeah, like okay, we're staggering. We got uh, Ryan Zarya right now. Why is my. I might have to stop my game. <clears throat> oh, well. I did. And I did in the scrim. Okay, what happened there? So Ryan was pushed up, and I was making sure that Mercy could res, and I just didn't even think mm -hmm. about the Ryan, and the Ryan just got overpowered. Why is my. I might have to stop my game. You can't, you can't still... Okay, she got, got, she got bubble, so you, you, you don't need to check double for her yeah. she's he's walking up now while we're raising and the Zara is behind him so you you should be probably on the left high ground here okay so you can immediately heal him <clears throat> okay apparently he died we have no rest and you jumping into the bubble giving up your high ground so you you're like okay guys we we lost uh, we lost right let's die faster <laughs> yeah, we can't even pick okay result. probably the best way to to win this fight is going back to spawn and regroup and went for the rhine that's a nice sleep Okay, she's talking to you, she's gonna, she's gonna yep, dash yep, up. Fuck, we got Nano Blade. Oh. That was unlucky with the Mercy. You see, if if the Winston jumps you, there's nobody to help you because the Mercy is dead already. Um, if you would stay on the high ground, he had actually um, a harder way to you. Like, Okay, you facing him. You jump into the bubble. I don't know why. And this time, you probably wanna go uh, back, like this side, or even go high ground and play on the high ground and the and the window. So the enemy team needs to actually take a path to you, right? Instead of just walking into you. Gotcha. Okay. What is the shortcut for play? Okay, it's K. No. <coughs> anyway, good, uh, good combo. Yep, yep. got another date off. This should probably stop them from pushing this player for once again. What's in the back line? But let's talk about the team comp. What have you shown uh, should down better against their comp? Or do you think it's it's okay to run this comp against uh, their characters? Um, I mean, it, it, it kind of seems that this level, like it's just whoever is better can win at any, with any comp. But I, mm -hmm. I think um, like an Orisa hog tank combo would be a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Or just a, I mean I guess it kind of depends. I just don't feel like the the Ryan Zarya don't really match our our DPS very well. So we could either do like Rissa Hog to match with the the Ash, I guess, or go more dive to be able to go with the Genji. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I would think. So your your stack is uh, four stack. They should actually play uh, Orisa Hog so they can actually make them Winston useless. Right, they probably playing Winston because of the Genji, and our win condition is only only Nano uh, Blade right now. So I would swap the even if you keep the Rhinzaria, What is bullshit because they playing Sombra and Sombra against Reinhardt is uh, soft throwing. Even with the Brig on the other side, it's hard to play Rhine. Um. Yeah, as you said, Orisa Hog would be the be better option. If they want to run Orisa Zarya, we should play. Um, you should go Lucio, probably. 
So we have a defensive ult, uh, so that we can probably counter EMP. I actually like Mercy playing with a sniper. Um, there's always the Mercy main that don't want to swap, right? Um, <laughs> but uh, she probably could go like, uh, I don't know, Zen or even Lucio. Like, if you want to play Ryan, you need a Lucio so you can position yourself faster and make some pressure, right? Because he's very slow and if you don't have Lucio, he can't swing. That's not wood charge. But as I said, Orisa Hawk would be pretty good. Uh, we say nano blade. That's fine. We could use. Okay, Asha's pretty fine on this map. Like there's much high ground, and with the TNT you can make some pressure against brick and stuff. But yeah, I guess you guys gonna keep this comp right. Yeah, it's been a while. I can't remember if we ever even switch. I mean, you said you said it right. Like you can Might win with every comp at this, this level. You like just need to play your character right, and don't stagger and stuff. Yeah. Can you not die? Okay. So you're coming up from spawn. You know you have uh, no healers right now. We lost the main tank again, and uh, the Genji is dead. Game just the Mercy is going straight to your uh, to his Zarya. You can already see that the edge is uh, getting low right now in the right corner. Uh -huh. So you should probably go right side and play in your window. Nice sleep. You got the Rezo, right? No? You didn't? Okay. So we during fight right now. Okay, that was too far. Sorry. <coughs> okay, we didn't rest because EMP. Right, okay, I got it. So we're contesting the Ana. She got a good nade on your teammates. Uh, Wazar is probably no. Who is it? Oh, the ESF, uh, the, the Reinhardt again, unlucky. Um, <clears throat> so our main thing is dying, our Mercy is dying as well. Nice, nice nade. Apparently not enough, and we let our Mercy die. And we talked about that um, before, your second heal is a uh, priority for you. Yeah, I didn't get the nade on the Mercy. I was going for the tank, so I should have thrown a little bit more to the right. I mean, we would use the, uh, we would lose the fight anyway. They, they were six, and well, half of half of your team were were uh, in key, so there's nothing you can do actually. <clears throat> Probably that's a reset right now. If nobody dies. We gotta get Winston. Winston is carrying. Okay, you see, there's no peel at all for you. Like the 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 highest thing you can do is walk out of the bubble and um, in the direction of the Winston. edge or the Ryan. Winston is carrying. I mean, you're calling it even like I don't know what the people are doing. Okay. We got the rest of Fuck champ. Monkey is jumping again. Kill Winston, he's purple in the back. Who does that nano? I think I nanoed the Ryan. To keep him alive? Uh, I, I think just the pressure. I honestly don't remember, but I'm just assuming that I just like, we were, we were down one, and I was just like, Ryan, just go in and do something. Mm -hmm. Winston's sleep. sleeping, don't wake him. Keep your teammates alive first, then you can go for some DPS. Okay. I mean, our our win condition is still Genji Nano Blade, right? So, using the Nano in this on this time, like we're gonna actually, yep, we got rest. You actually saved the Ryan from from Dragon, I think. 
And then you heal out booped into the front line. That's Pog. We're taking some space. Once it's sleeping, don't wake him. Don't do that. Like, keep the, the nade for yourself. Like, there, he's nanot, he's bubble, uh, he's bubbled as well. Like, there's no way you're gonna do anything. Even if you nade him, he still has so much HP, you can do shit. You can actually keep the nade for uh, nading yourself, so the Mercy can uh, out heal you after. Okay. Nice sleep. Winston sleepy in the back line. Yeah, there's nobody to punish him, unlucky. Ooh, we're going in, Blade, 1v6, Pogchamp. Nice. Don't use the nade on Okay. And wait with the sleep, like... You can actually go for the... Bad at sleep, mid air, right? But if he lands, he can't move. Like, you can even predict where, where he lands. So move your crosshair into the place he's gonna probably land and then press press the press the key for, for sleep. Okay. Sometimes it's, it's, sleep is game-changing, right? And you, you, you want to make sure that you hit it. So, 2CP map. Thank you, Jeff. We love that <laughs> kind of maps, man. Um... You can actually stand there on the high ground and heal your teammates forever if nobody gonna use a ult on you or one shot you. Nice, you have played him. Your team is clearing the payload. That was a kinda random sleep, but that's fine. I think I think we were already up. I think I wasted that uh, nano as well. The nano, yeah, 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 yeah. You wasted it, but doesn't matter. We have uh, two more ults. And you can get your nano pretty fast hey, because the Ryan is feeding some damage. That's fine. Okay, so the the question is where are we holding now, right? Are we gonna play on high ground on the right side, on the left side, on the payload? Who knows? Um, in this comp, you probably wanna stay where you are right now because you can heal the Ash, you can heal the Fera. And you can even contest uh, the Winston. Oh, fuck. that is close. He's purple, he's purple, he's purple. Yeah, yeah, I'm low though. Okay. Yeah, you need to press more tab, so we can actually see what what ults are on and uh, if the enemy team is swapping to a widow or something. Uh -huh. okay. Especially after team fights, so you can actually see if they're swapping or not. Okay, so we have ba uh, we have Bob, we have Barrage soon. They probably gonna have UMP. Those are things you need to keep in mind, like tracking ults uh, from the enemies. Um, you can call them out um, after the fight or even ask your teammates if they know something. That's a big advantage to know what uh, ults that are still left or even coming up. Like you, you, you can predict they're gonna have Zenyatta ult soon. I didn't see the Zenyatta for two fights, I guess. So you can keep your nade for the, for the trance and stuff, you know. Uh -huh. And especially if they play Ash, you need to know where the Bob is coming so you can save your sleep for the Bob. <laughs> Normally, you you can say, okay, every fight is a new ult for this character, right? But um, and at this level, it sometimes takes two fights or even three fights, and you can predict that. If Zen didn't die in the team fight, you know, it's it's kind of hard, but it, it it's kind of hard, but it comes with the time, so you can predict the ults uh, clearly better than probably at this stage. Okay. Like, were you thinking about that uh, before? 
predicting ults? Um, I know that sometimes I try to predict ults and try to uh, somehow keep track of them, but um, mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not very consistent of doing that every game um, or every round. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some 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 marks I can I can call them maybe. If if Reinhardt has a shatter, he's walking up and looking for it. Uh, same with Zarya and stuff, right? Um, but especially ults that you can counter with your with your um, how you call it, man? With your cooldowns are important to track for you. So as I said, Zenyatta trance. Bob, barrage, you can sleep. Um, I mean, yeah, you can sleep shatter, it's hard, but you can try those. Um, what, what else? I don't know, but you actually know what I mean. Yeah, I understand. Okay, so we messed, um, messed up the sleep. You're going for the long range sleep again. Now, instead of now. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's landing. He can't move right now. Uh -huh. He can press space to jump uh, one meter forward, but it doesn't matter. You're gonna hit him anyway. Um. Yeah. And you use the nade again for jumping Winston. Oh, you entered the the road talk. Yeah, it's probably just luck though, it's probably through. <laughs> Number one. Okay, we can try to give someone nano. Ooh. He's gone big dude. Can't get this, can't get big barrage. Kill your teammates, they're pretty low on point. Yeah. I th obviously, uh, yeah, that's obviously what I was doing. Yeah. I think you were just pissed on the monkey yeah, because he was <laughs> standing in your in your throat. Yeah. He, I mean, it's he was, uh, kind of funny yeah. that, uh, yeah. I was gonna say he was really good. That Winston was, I think, their carry that that game. So I was definitely trying mm. to focus him. I mean, your teammates weren't actually reacting to your calls. Uh, yeah. I really feel like if we he can just He was like 24-7 on you. I mean, that's his job, but you need to get peeled for that. Yeah. Oof. So, how fast did he die, man? So, we're walking I up really on the stairs. Like if we can just this one. They got the TNT. Then. Walking out of sight, and you're reloading. Okay, so you want to reload. Kind of um, depends on the on the team fight. Like if the team fight is starting, what what you should actually realize because they were ready to jump. Like they were the group topped again, and they use TNT so they can go in. So you can actually. Keep your eight bullets in your chamber and reload two or fourteen. So no, 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 two fourteen. Sorry, one fourteen. Because you can reload faster if there's one bullet left in your chamber, right? Yeah, I, I remember, I've heard that. I haven't, I haven't tried it out, but I've heard that. And I wouldn't uh, reload during the fight. Like if you're gonna. Sometimes you need to reload, right? If there's no bullets in your chamber, that's that's actually easy. But you need to call it out. Like, the people need to take a step back or the Mercy is gonna burn Valk or I don't know. Like, you need to call your re reloads because the people are gonna play mostly defensive. Like, the Ryan is gonna shield up and walk back and stuff. You need to try to call it. Okay, we're rezzing it instantly. The Mercy died because of shit res. They used Bob, we have no sleep, so... 
I could say we just panic because of the McCree dead. She body blocked the sleep, unlucky. Okay, we can stall. Bro. <laughs> That's a juicy nade, man. Instead of looking for, for a pick. I mean, your position is great, man. They can't shoot you. You're behind the corner on the high ground. They can't, they can't do shit, so you're free of healing. So give that healing to your team. Because yeah. they need that run. Just love that purple. I mean, no, he I died mean, only because if you didn't heal him, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we still have Bob. And it's last fight, so we probably... Probably gonna win this. Okay, they nano monkey again. We're using Nate again on the bubble. You, you wanna, as I said, you wanna save the bubble for you, for self-healing, or even for the teammate, he's gonna jump next. Like, sure. there's no no need to immediately nade the, the Winston. As well, he, he do, does it every time. So every time he jumps, he bubbles himself. Uh -huh. So you can read your read your opponents. Like, it's pretty, hard, pretty easy to read a tracer if she's gonna double bling or she's playing for the 180s and stuff you can actually learn that from the single game and he was bubbling every fucking time he jumped there was no jump without the bubble i think um maybe when he was nano but if he was going in he bubbled every time immediately so you want to learn that um okay so you messed up the nade <clears throat> you have time to scope like they're getting low by punching monkey play, monkey from play. from nano nano winston but he can't one shot them so you don't need to no scope okay you, you want to go for the hard scope and get the heal 100 percent on the target so they don't die okay we fucked up sleep okay oh <laughs> You only have Big uh, balls in mercy here. heals, only mercy heals, but we're up. I did not see that Zen coming up, man. Okay, we should win this. Nice. This is garbage, man. My sound's on and off. I don't like this map. It's so hard to take this, la this last point. Yeah, I think I've only taken it once. Okay, so the mistake we've done here was again against the Winston. We lose uh, our kit and there's another walked up and one shot it us all right guys that's part one of this video i hope you learned a lot i'm definitely learning a lot as i continue to watch this video over and over again as i was editing this video i was able to repeatedly hear the mistakes i was making and be able to see them this coaching session definitely benefited me I'm able to start grinding my alt account, focusing mostly on just playing Ana, all the way up to Diamond. I'm getting close to getting to Diamond with her. So these mistakes I'm making definitely were hindering me from climbing. And so I know that as you and I both focus on improving ourselves, that we'll be able to reach the rank and goals that we want. Again, definitely go check out Klistala on his Twitch channel, on his YouTube channel. He does give out free coaching sessions. You just have to earn them through spending time in his chat and spending time in his stream and being interactive. So it could definitely be worth it if you want a free coaching session. Again, I also stream on Monday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern. I would love to share tips of how I got out of gold into platinum and then finally broke from platinum to diamond. That was mostly with my Zen play, and so if you want some Zen tips, I definitely can share some. And now I'm learning that same climb with just playing mostly Ana. Ana's been a new hero that I've been trying to learn to try to broaden my hero pool. So if Zen is taken or Zen is not the right fit for the comp, or I'm getting dove too hard as playing Zen, I have another hero that I can jump onto and flex to, which I think will really be beneficial as I try to reach my goal to get up to masters. Again, don't forget to subscribe. More videos will be coming out. I do want to start posting videos about health and performance 
as a PC gamer, but also health and performance just in our overall life. So you definitely don't want to miss those. And I will catch you guys next time with part two of this coaching session. See you then.